You can solve so many of your business problems just by using the correct chat GPT plugin. All right. So stick with me for less than five minutes. And we're going to go through how you can search through and find the correct plugin to solve so many of your business problems, save so much time. So let's jump into it. But as a very quick reminder, you might be wondering, who am I? What is this all about? I'm going to go over that super quick. My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the creator and host of Everyday AI. So we're a daily live stream podcast and a free newsletter helping everyday people like you and me, not just learn AI, but how to actually use it. All right. So let's actually use AI. So here's how you're going to do it. Again, make sure that you have a ChatGPT Plus account. It's only $20 a month. I'm telling you, if you don't have one yet, you're wasting your time. If you sit in front of a computer for more than 30 minutes a day, you should probably have ChatGPT Plus. So the plugins are a little difficult. So what we're going to do is you're going to click there. When you start a new chat, go to GPT-4, click plugins. Then you're going to click this drop down, scroll to the bottom, go to the plugin store. So what we're going to do here, just type in plug and install plug finder and plug in PDF. Those are going to help you find the correct uh, plugins because there's now more than 400. So I'm asking now, ChatGPT, you don't have to mindlessly scroll through the 400 plus plugins for whatever your task is. So in this example, I'm saying I want to analyze the spreadsheet and figure out trends for quarter four. What ChatGPT plugin should I use? So very cool. You'll see right away it's starting to um, identify different plugins to use. Very cool. So you'll see, because I've, I've used this before, there's a lot of different plugins, you know, being that there's more than 400. My, my kind of question here was very general. So if you ask a more specific question, again, everything with ChatGPT is garbage in, garbage out. So um, this may or may not be the best plugins. I would probably, you know, go with more detail. I was just using this as a quick um, representation of how this works. So let's do one more and let's do something actually live. Okay, so I'm saying I want to create a graphic based off of a text description. What chat GPT plugin should I use? So it says diagram. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So it's still typing here. Another thing to keep in mind with chat GPT Pro, you can only do one thing at a time. So I already found a good one. So I'm just going to click stop generating. And I'm going to go ahead and go to chat GPT 4, go to plugins, and I'm going to go add that diagram plugin. Uh, I believe I already have it. I, I have it installed actually. So I'm going to go ahead and enable it. So again, I'm going to I'm going to disable these other the plugin Pedia ones that I was using in this new chat, and I'm going to go to the diagram plugin. All right, perfect. Here we go. So I'm going to say, just as an example, the biggest U.S. cities by population. So I'm going to say, make me a basic graphic based on this data. Okay. So we'll let it work. And then just one more time, as we give that a second to load, remember, always label your chats. Another thing with plugins that people don't realize is once you start, uh, sorry, let's, let's, let's go to the correct window there. Once you start uh, a chat with the certain plugins, you can't change it. So, you know, it's, something that we talk about at Everyday AI is called plugin packs. So you should label it accordingly. So I'm going to go ahead and just label this chart um, with diagram plugin only, just so I know in the future, right? So that was so fast. Literally before I could even uh, share the correct tab, it's already open. And here's a chart. And then it says you can get it via this link. So, I mean, this is pretty, pretty amazing. And also you can see it's, it's kind of um, it's kind of an interactive. So I'm I'm hovering over and you're getting um, different, uh, you, you know, effects here. So that's amazing. So just in a matter of seconds, uh, you know, you can not just find the correct plugin, but then you can open a new chat, put in the data or the problem that you're having and get it solved. So less than five minutes, that's it. There's how you can use ChatGPT plugins to not just find plugins for the correct plugin, but an example, a quick example of how you can actually use them. I hope this was helpful. If so, go to youreverydayai.com, sign up and subscribe, or just leave me a comment here and see, you know, what do you want to learn next? Thanks.